everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you how to make a thin homemade thin crust pizza as well as a normal crust pizza so here i already keep two cups of all-purpose flour and i'll be using a teaspoon of instant dry yeast so there's no need for me to mix this in a warm water to activate it i just have to mix it uh, right away to my flour let's sieve this together let's put our over one fourth teaspoon of sugar half a teaspoon of salt and three fourth cup water maybe i'll just uh, Add this la later a little bit later I want to check if my flour is not too dry or not too wet you mix it with your hand so I can see that my flour is still dry so I can add this water I'll just add this little by little Then I can add everything up. Okay, for quick kneading of your dough, you just keep it here on your surface. Then let's start kneading. You see that the texture of the dough is now a little bit elastic but still this is not done so you have to knead it some more you see that the dough is something smooth already and when i stretch it like this it becomes elastic so it means your dough is ready I will just cut this into two so I can show you how to make the regular crust pizza and this one I will use for the thin crust pizza. For the regular crust pizza, we have to proof this for an hour or until the dough doubles the size. For proofing, you just have to put your dough in a bowl cover it with a clean wrap and wait until the dough doubles the size for thinning your pizza crust or your dough you just have to keep pressing until it is round enough amount of flour sprinkle it and spread it then you put your thin crust pizza over here for your, for your toppings you can choose any toppings you want for your pizza I have here, of course, our pizza sauce, the grated mozzarella cheese. We have mushroom, green bell pepper, pineapple, and chicken meatloaf in a can. So first, let's spread our pizza sauce. Let's spread our pizza sauce here.
bake this in a preheated oven for 260 degrees celsius or until golden for 10 to 15 minutes Now you see that the dough has already doubled the size and when you press it it bounces back so meaning your dough is your dough proofing is already done so you just remove this remove this from the bowl and then cling wrap it So this is the dough we kept in the refrigerator overnight. It has been in the fridge for 11 hours. Now let's flatten this so we can put the toppings and bake it. and proof it for 20 minutes this has been rested for around 25 minutes you see the dough is already rising so it's time for the our pizza to be kept in the oven for 260 degrees celsius or until golden brown for 10 to 15 minutes.